Tippy 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 Nina So push that back on Nina And I'm causing a scene What I mean, what I mean, what I mean is Why loud, why loud, why loud Girl just show me what you about Bend your back, bend your back right out Hands up, bumpers down Touch down, 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 touch down. Hands up, then the bumpers drop down, 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 drop down. Wait, go back, zoom out. How did I get to dancing in the busiest walkway crossing in the world? Let's start from the beginning. Welcome to Tokyo, Japan. I'm here for a week training at EN Dance Studio. This is where I sit. It's a budget hotel. You don't need a car. The main form of transportation is train. And so I chose a place right by the train station. I'm at the station. In between classes at EN Dance Studio, I just took a class. There's one class, and here are the teachers for the next class okay. practicing. Hi! Hi. <laughs> level of dance in Japan, in Tokyo, is so intense, it's so high, I wasn't ready for that, I, like after every class, that's why I haven't really been vlogging much because I've been feeling like a failure of a dancer because everyone's so amazing, but um, and everyone gets it so fast and I can't get it and then I feel like I can't dance and I shouldn't continue, but I met this really cute little girl who's in a lot of the classes. What's her name? Uh, Kaya. Kaya. Kaya's an incredible dancer. Way better than I am. You want to take yourself? Okay, we can take yourself. Okay. And she's nine. And she's been dancing for five years. They have been dancing since they're like five. Every single day. For like more than five years because she's nine. We'll continue training and not be disheartened. And now I'm gonna put some protein in my body. We have sandwiches, sushi, um, tuna mayonnaise, hot fine fruit and veggies in Japan. So I'm gonna get a packet of fruit just to have some fruit. This is like nothing I've ever seen before. First of all, you have indoor and outdoor shoes, so you have to come with like two pairs of runners or whatever you're wearing, change your shoes. Um, another thing, everyone sits before class. First you have to be invited into the room and then everyone sits and then the teacher comes in and then they invite you to stand. Also, no one talks in class. Uh, after every single class, everyone like makes a line and says thank you like one at a time to the teacher so I'm not sure if that explained how I ended up at Shibuya station but when I travel I like to visit studios around the world I checked out Malaysia I checked out Japan but Japan the level of dancing was up here and all the students were incredible they trained so hard they have such a good dance ethic um, and I learned a lot, but I didn't really film. I couldn't, I could hardly finish the choreography at the end of the class. And it was a bit, um, it was very, it kind of put me off and I felt like a failure and I wanted to cry. It was, it was a big learning experience for me. Dancing doesn't just happen. It takes hard work and it doesn't just take a week of visiting a studio here and there. It takes like commitment training every day every day and if that's what I want to do I have to continue doing that um, so that was a learning experience for me but I wanted to show I wanted to show something of my experience in Japan so I hit up a choreographer um, a dance so I hit up a dance hall choreographer and I asked her if she would do a collab with me and we put this routine together in the morning and in the afternoon um, shot it at Shibuya Station, my favorite spot in Tokyo. It's the busiest walking cross.